My. Goodness, I am so happy. Good day. <laughs> Is that so? Mm-hmm. My, I'm sorry. My name is Hisano Kuroda. I am death. Be careful now. You're back.
Funny, I remember this festival being a lot more crowded. Is it because of the murders? Yeah, there ain't that many people here this year. Well, I guess you can't blame people for being scared. Haven't seen the reporters around either. They sure are good at stirring shit up and then disappearing. Well, it ain't so bad to have thin crowds. What is important right now is that we go get some Mikiyaki. Ooh, I want to get some too. Kanji, what's Ikayaki? Man, they're late. Why were they meeting up at Yukiko's house in the first place? They'll show up sooner or... 
Whoa, isn't that them? Sorry we took so long. It took us some time to get dressed. You have to wrap towels inside so they're not as breezy as everyone says. It's kind of hard to walk. <laughs> Nana-chan, you look so cute. I'm head over heels for you. <laughs> Thank you. How do we look, senpai? Does the sight make your heart skip a beat? What do you mean, actually? Sheesh, how embarrassing. Kanji, what are you looking away for? Don't tell me you're ashamed to look. What are you, a monk? Th that ain't it! <laughs> You're so cute, Kanji. Hey, thanks for looking after her. They bought me cotton candy. Did they now? All right, then. You want to go over and do the target prank? Uh, I mean, game with me? Uh-huh. Let's go. I'll take care of Nanako from here. It's only a few times a year that this town gets charged up like this. You kids should go and have fun. Summer festival. Hmm. A couple walking together at a festival. Unused to wearing it, the girl's yukata comes loose. Summer has begun. What kind of tagline is that? We gotta go two by two. Rawr! Two by two? See, I've been thinking. It's the summer, you're wearing yukata, and we're at a festival. It's just wrong for guys and girls to walk around in a huge group like this. We should couple up while we're here. It's the natural way of things. What, what the hell are you babbling about? I'm with Teddy. Come on, senpai. Why wear yukata in the first place? So we have memories we can remember fondly, right? So we should pair off right away. Risei! What a terrifying girl! You got a point, though. Good memories. Uh, I'm fine, too. Oh, what I mean is... Uh, count me in. <laughs> All right, you guys decide how we'll split up. Huh? Seriously? It's up to us? Uh, all right. Three guys and three girls, what should we do? Three guys? <laughs> Aren't you missing one? What? <laughs> Me, him, and Kanji makes three. What? You did that on purpose! Um, should I really do this? Oh yeah, you can barely look at him. <laughs> no way, I can look at him. It'll be a cinch, just you watch. Nah, you should bail, Kanji. It'd be best for everyone that way. What? You don't believe me? Well, I've made my decision. Hey, wait till we're done for that. I want Chie-chan and Yuki-chan and Risei-chan for my partner. That's not a decision. Dude, you're the one who said we gotta pair off in the first place. I ain't joking here, Ted. If you try and butt in on this... That's right, Kanji. This is serious business, and you're a true man. A true man wouldn't be prancing around with other girls at a place like this. Uh, okay. How much more can you butter him up? Kanji, this is a test to see if you can uphold your status as a true man. <sighs> now no one will be left out. Y yeah, you're right. Thanks, Teddy, you said it. Okay, count me out. Dude, come on, don't fall for that. It's decided. I'm going with all of you. Huh? What's going on? Oh, there are too many guys, so someone would have been left out. I just couldn't let that happen. 
What? You little... <laughs> I see. You're so kind, Teddy. We let them decide and this is what we get? <sighs> what a letdown. Oh well, let's go then. We fail, huh? An epic fail. Hey! Teddy! Why are you buying another idol's photo? Mine's in there too! Aw, oh, what's with this? Hey, Ted! Hands off my corn! Teddy! You got ketchup on my yukata! It's just the two of us. I kind of wanted you to pick me in front of everyone else yesterday. But there were so many of us and Teddy was there, so I knew it was impossible. Well, it's nice that we get to come here twice then, for the memories. Come on, let's go! First, we have to make a wish. Though, it'll be the second time I do it. What are you going to wish for? Thanks. Me too. <laughs> I bet we're both thinking of specific things on how to achieve this. I might have bigger, bolder plans than you. Hmm? Young lady. Aren't you that girl on TV? I get that a lot. Sorry, it's not me. A real idol couldn't walk around in public with a boy like this. Ah, uh, so I got all excited for nothing. Oh well, how about a candied apple then? One for your boyfriend, too. <laughs> so people do think you're my boyfriend. What should we do? Want one each? Or do you want to share one? No, that sounds like it'd be really hard to eat. All us vendors are handing out lottery tickets. You can turn them in for a chance to draw a prize at the Turee over there. <laughs> what? That sounds fun. Well then, I want two candied apples. Coming right up. Let's go look at the other stands after we're done eating, senpai. Okonomiyaki, huh? When I got one yesterday, it was huge, so I gave most of it to Teddy. Oh, but today you're here. Let's share one for real this time. I don't have very good memories with fish. I used to have guppies in my room before, but I was too busy to take care of them. Oh, but I'm sure they'll give us lottery tickets for playing, right? We can always just catch and release. All right then, it's one draw per person. Let me go get it. I wonder what I'll get. I hope I can get something super weird so I can remember the day I got it. Now. Close your eyes and draw your prize. Wow, amazing! Both of you won! The girl got fourth place. So, a cell phone strap. <laughs> what is this character? It's so ugly. <sighs> Wait, these clothes. My tour costume last year looked like this. Wait, is this? And the boyfriend has sixth place. A book. <sighs> I 
we saw a lot. Hey, Senpai. Honestly, you had other invitations today, didn't you? Even if you didn't, I'm sure there were girls who were thinking about inviting you. So, thank you for coming with me today. Well, see ya. I hope we can come again next year.
Yo! See you later. I see.
Are you going to wish for something too? Something you can't tell me? I'm wishing for everyone's health. For Chie, for you, for the others, and everyone at the end too. And I'm wishing to become a woman worthy of you. Finally, I wish for everyone to be able to smile together. Let's begin our prayer. I've decided not to leave Inaba. I never really objected to being the inn's manager per se. I just didn't like the fact that it wasn't up to me. I felt that my life was on rails. And I thought running away was the only choice for me. But no longer. I want to protect the family inn. After all, it's near to my heart. Um, thank you. I think it's because of you that I realized this. Because you were always by my side. Um, I wanted to ask you this before. Um, why? Why are you always with me? I is it okay for me to ask? You, you like me? feel the same way, so... I thought my heart was going to stop. Um, stay here with me. Just a little longer. You're back.
Hey! the senses of a beast, remember? What? <laughs> hey, what are you saying? Hey, you? I was complimenting you. You call that a compliment, you idiot? What kind of girl wants to be compared to a big girl? <laughs> hey, dude, give me a break, will you? <laughs> Have you seen the map? This is crazy. <laughs> Wait for me. I'm... <laughs> Look! The ocean! All right! Uh, oh, it's pretty!
You know, I'm starting to get nervous. We're at the ocean, which means swimsuits, which means reset live and in person. What are the ramifications here? Am I using up my lifetime supply of luck with this? Whoa! Ooh! How come you guys are here? You should be in the water! Oh, were you waiting for us? Dude, that's just insane! Totally different! Hey, you better not say that to her face, okay? Um, can we get going into the water? Chie chan, Rise chan, and Yuki chan all win the Ladies of Summer competition! I'm surrounded by such beautiful mermaids! I feel like this could be my chance for a summer romance! Like that had ever happened. Where's Kanji? I bet he's still worn out. Riding all that way on a bike really did a number on him. Oh, here he comes. Dude, what is that? What's what? Your swimsuit. What else would I mean? It's your basic black. What? I'm not talking about the color. I mean, I mean, the, the whole thing. I'm seeing things I never needed to see! You're the only one saying stuff like that! Don't act like you're not egging me on! Wait, Kanji. How come you're not getting a nosebleed over me? Huh? Why would that happen? What? I'm surprised they can get this worked up over just some swimsuits. Jeez, they're hopeless. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the water. Chie chan, Yuki chan, let's be mermaids! Whee! Hey, he went in first! Come on, you two, let's go! Found a vetting machine! I'll go buy some drinks. You want a soda? Oh! My string's getting undone! Hey, Teddy! Watch the hands, pal! Aw, don't be so stingy. I think we're due for a wardrobe malfunction. What in the world are they doing? Whoa, 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 whoa! What now? God, you, you bastard! Busted! Hey, Senpai, this stupid bear here... Hey, hey, hey! Not cool! You listening, Senpai? Wait, hold it! Time out! Uh down. Ah! Holy shit, the wardrobe malfunction was mine! What are you doing? You need to cover up down there, damn it! I give up! I give up! Hey, quit squirming. You run off and I'm toast! But if I don't run off, my dignity will be in ruins! Why don't we take a break? I need to put on more sunscreen. Gotta take a break to slake with steak! They're getting out of the water! Daddy, what gives? I'm done for. I'll go look for something. Sit tight! Hell yeah! A man should... Nah, that's pushing it. Boy, I'd be in some serious shit. I can hear the harps.
Stay with us, Ted! All right, Kanji, I found something! Wait, that's seaweed! Oh, there they are! Senpai! They're coming! Just hide it! What am I supposed to say to this? Uh, we're, uh, reenacting the birth of Venus? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm ready to be born, damn it. <laughs> Sicko! Was this the best idea? Whatever else, it's giving me an itch. Uh huh. Pretty busy day. I'm still itchy. At least we had a laugh over it in the end, right? And we found your swimsuit, too. Well, I never would have come to the beach if you hadn't invited me. <laughs> I guess it would be out of character for you. It actually might be more fun to try stuff that's out of character. Yeah. In a way, your nature is like a wall, after all. Surrounding yourself with high walls makes things simple, but simplicity isn't always a virtue. Oh man, what was that? Did I just get all philosophical there? Oh well, if I have your permission... Come on, you're embarrassing me even more! I think it's fine. I look at that big ocean out there and think, man, why keep hanging on to all this embarrassment? Just let it go. So you don't deny that it was embarrassing, huh? Okay, why don't we play a game? Whoever loses has to buy barbecue on a stick for everyone else. But that's a prize only you would want to play for, Chie-senpai. Then the loser gets to smooch Teddy! Talk about kicking someone when they're down. Then instead of playing a game, why don't we do something else together? Good like times never last Teddy long. In the sand. I wonder you if our mean, high like school days will end that back? way too. Oh no, my wrist is red. All the doom and I was gloom. so careful Jesus to put sunscreen closed, man. on too. If anything, I'd say we're just getting started. That's true. Man, though, this motorcycle trip turned out way better than I imagined. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we go skiing during winter break? Wait till you guys see how awesome I am on a snowboard. Talking about winter already? Getting a little ahead of ourselves, are we? Yeah! There's lots of mountains around here, so there's got to be a ski slope somewhere not too far away. Oh yeah, tons of them. None of them are that close by, but it won't be too tough by scooter. Though we got to stay safe. The roads look dangerous. We might have to change our plans. Man, I wouldn't have thought you'd be the one stressing safety. What's the point of trying to act cool when it comes to that stuff? Danger's danger, man. Well, you have a point. All right, now that we have a plan in mind for winter break, let's start heading back before it gets dark. We're all beginners at driving, after all. Hey, we're going home!
I see. How stupid.
fireworks festival is today? You know, I don't have any plans. Okay, I'll call the rest of the guys up. Don't forget about tonight. Big bro, are you there? I'm gonna play at Monachan's house. I'll buy some trash bags on the way back. Dad said we'll be going to the fireworks show once he comes home. It's at night, so I have to go with Dad, but he said he'll try and come home for it. with Dad, so we'll see you there. Ooh, the crowd's pretty thin here. Riverbanks were packed. I'm surprised you found a quiet spot like this. Oh no, I knew about it. I pass by the mountainside a lot. Customers ask me about it too. I wonder if Nanako-chan will make it. I called and told her where we'd be before I left. Hey, where's Teddy? Not only was he hitting on girls non-stop, he accidentally put the moves on Hanako and she dragged him away. He ducked into his bear skin right away and acted like a bear, but he still got dragged off without a word. Can we just leave him like that? Sure we can. His karma caught up to him. Aren't you being a little cold to Teddy today, Yosuke-senpai? When I think back to what he did this morning, no, I really don't. Truth be told, I wish I could send two or three more Hanukos at him. Dude, that would kill him. What happened anyway? I don't even want to remember it. He dug up some private stuff from my room and brought it to the Hanamura family breakfast. He was all like... Yosuke, what's this magazine about? Can you imagine the humiliation I went through because of him? It's your fault for having that stuff. It's not like I ever thought anyone would wave it around in front of my parents. Is this really what you want to be talking about with girls around? Huh? Is he not talking about his secret savings? Secret savings for a guy. Right. Let's just leave him be. Teddy? What a tragedy. My lovely fur is completely ruined. That's... Okay, that's worse than I was expecting. Anyway, people are going to stare at you like that. Hurry and take it off. But I'm like a newborn child inside. Just like your magazine from this morning, Yosuke. Quit reopening this morning's wounds! There they are! Big bro! Hey, Nanako-chan! Looks like Dojima-san made it in time! Yeah, Dad came home early! <laughs> I made it! Sorry if I made you nervous. I didn't quite finish my paperwork, but I figured a dachi could handle the rest. Hey there, little lady. Wanna launch some fireworks of love with me? How do you do that? Well... Cut it out, Teddy! Do you want Dojima-san to haul you in? Things are heating up down there. Does that mean it'll be starting soon? Really? Don't listen to him. Stop messing with her, Teddy. Sometimes you're unbearable. Oh, Was that supposed Teddy. to be a joke? <laughs> oh, looks like this one's a doozy. Oh, you're right.
That concludes our program for the Summer Fireworks Festival. Thank you for coming, and all of us here in Inaba hope to see you again next year as well. Man, that was amazing! Totally worth coming out here for. Because you got to stuff your face, right? So what? You were all munching on snacks too! An extra large steak bowl doesn't qualify as a snack. Did you have fun, Nanako-chan? Mm -hmm. I'm sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's about time for you to be home in bed. I'll take Nanako back. Make sure you guys don't stay out too late, huh? Bye-bye, Nana-chan! Bye-bye. The fireworks were great, but I don't know, it just feels like summer's just about over. Why'd you have to bring that up? I'm all right with that. When I'm working, I have to wear fall clothes during the summer so I don't get a sense of the seasons changing. But this year, I went to the beach and saw some fireworks. I even got to wear a yukata out to the summer festival. The festival, huh? Well, thanks to a certain someone, I don't have anything but bitter memories of that. Really? That someone is you. Well, I had fun. Oh yeah, you were good at that candy cutting. Wait, that's not what I meant. I was expecting something more... more bittersweet and stuff. Right? Wait a sec, what does that mean? What are you comparing it to? Did, did you go with someone else the next day? What's wrong, Risei-chan? You seem fidgety. Your face seems awfully red, too. Hmm? Uh, does it? Dude, seriously? <sighs> Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Like you're any different. Oh yeah, should we have asked that kid to come with us today? What kid are you talking about? Uh, well... Oh, him. Yeah, I guess so. When you think about it, we were working on the same case in a way. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we might not ever see him again. I'd hate to leave it with him like that. I said some harsh things. You know, I remember him saying something that sounded pretty sad. Then again, I doubt he's the type who'd accept even if we had invited him out to see the fireworks. I wonder if he's not here anymore. He seemed to be busy, so maybe he's already working on another case in some faraway town. Huh. Sorry, I didn't mean to be a downer. There's no point in wondering what might have been. He was a pretty good-looking guy, too. He might have been a roadblock in... Uh, other ways. Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Shut up! You don't have to say it twice! came down. Um, I got a call from Dad. He said someone gave him a watermelon. It's too big for us to eat, so he said you should call your friends over. Do you think Teddy and your other friends can come? Watermelon? Oh, definitely. I haven't had any yet this year. I'm gonna call up the others, so you better not smack it open before we get there. Um, Dad got a watermelon from someone, so he said we should call everyone. Man, a watermelon. Because of all the stuff that's gone down this summer, I completely missed out. So, where is it? The fridge? Gee, Kanji, they invited us over. At least show some manners. We gotta smack it open first. Huh? Our 
Are we seriously gonna do that? We can't eat it if it gets all crushed. But, but doesn't it sound like fun? I want to do it too. I'll swing at it with everything I've got. The splattering fruit juice, bursts of joy, one night of love. The bitter sweetness of those days is the essence of youth. That makes no sense at all. And dude, will you cut out those commercial lines of yours? That's the essence of youth. I'm home. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of shoes. How many people are here? Welcome home. <laughs> Let's split the watermelon open. Say what? Ah, well, you see... Come on, Nanako. Don't pout. Everyone came here to hang out, right? I'm really sorry. It never occurred to me you'd want to do that. Hey, Nanako-chan, let's do it again sometime. Next time, we'll do it right at the beach. Seconded! Whoa, does that mean we get another chance to see you in bathing suits? Oh, but there probably aren't enough days left. I'll have to do it next year. Next year? Will you play with me next year too? Of course we will! You betcha! You betcha! Did you hear that, Nanako? Yep! Thank you! Thanks for everything today. It's been a while since I last saw Nanako in high spirits like that. <laughs> the case is finally solved. Now for all the... <laughs> ah, never mind. Save it for some other time. You know, you really made some great friends. Morning. Oh, summer vacation's over already. Yo, guys. I got lost on my way here. The vacation was pretty long. Not that long. Sheesh. Good morning. Y you? You're that, uh, pint sized detective. I beg your pardon? My name is Naoto. Please don't give people bizarre nicknames you make up on the spot. Um, you know this is a high school, right? My cooperation with the police has come to an end. However, there are aspects of the case with which I remain unconvinced. There are some family-related issues as well, so I've decided to stay here for the present. From today forth, I'll be a first year at your high school. And I felt that I should at least introduce myself to you all. I trust our relations will be cordial, senpai. Senpai? That detective boy's our underclassman?
Man, school's as dull as ever. With the case closed, the days feel so empty all of a sudden. Come on, Yosuke. Everything went back to normal. It's a good thing. I didn't mean it that way. It's just... Hey, we're stopping by Juness later, right? Why don't we ask Naoto-kun to join us? Oh, well, I just thought, since he doesn't know anyone yet, he must feel lonely. Didn't he say he came here to help out with the murder case? With the case closed, he's just an ordinary guy now. And if you think about it, that makes him a transfer student, just like us. Hello, senpai. Maybe he transferred here out of plain stubbornness, because he doesn't seem like he's only in it for fun. All right, let's see if he wants to hang out with us. A celebrity coming to school is already a surprise, but a detective is even rarer. I'm a little curious to see what his family's like, too. There's that and the fact that he's a detective at his age. Oh, speak of the devil. There's the little guy. You don't know the area yet, right? Come on, we'll show you around. There's probably tons of places to hang out that only we'd know about. That won't be necessary. I'm not interested in hanging out, and neither am I interested in you two. Huh? Hey, what did you say? What's with that attitude? We're just trying to be friendly. Jeez, way to make an impression. Yo, Naoto-kun. How's it going? Oh, um... <laughs> hey, guys. Sup? Uh, well, we'll be going now. So we meet again. May I help you? Hey, Naoto-kun! If you're not doing anything after school, want to come with us? Come with... you mean me? Perhaps another time. I have some things to mull over. Things to mull over? I must go straight home today. I promised my grandpa so. Grandpa? Oh well. That's that then. Let's hang out some other time. Man, did you see Naoto's attitude? He sure blew his debut at school. Is he gonna be okay at Yasugami? He is different, but he has this mysterious air around him that draws your attention. Whoa, Yukiko, I never knew. You like younger guys? No, that's not what I meant. Hmm. Naoto-kun said he has things to mull over, but he's gotta be talking about the murder case. He's some ace detective, right? I bet he's not satisfied, even though the case is closed. That's true, but... <laughs> this place isn't our special headquarters anymore. Uh, let's talk about something else. Isn't the class trip coming up soon? Um, where are we going? Tatsumi Port Island. I heard it's an artificial island that faces the ocean. It's a pretty big city. Huh? Port Island? I did tons of shoots there. It's just beyond the Moonlight Bridge, yeah? Should be lots of places to hang out there. Uh, actually, we may not have any time to goof off during this trip. I heard the school board is changing the trip schedule this year. The idea is we're gonna visit a private school there, like to have local and urban students interact or something. It'll be all about studying and serious business. Oh, yuck. Ugh, they're totally missing the point of a class trip. What kind of place is this private school? I heard it's really good. They have nice buildings and everything. But it's closed on the day we're going there, so they're going the extra mile to make this work. They want us to tour some factories on the second day, and then we're coming back on the third day. That's no different from a social studies field trip. Oh, I didn't want to know that. Can't expect much from a school-sponsored trip, I guess. Well, we'll be around, so if it starts to drag, we can ditch. I'll show you guys
guys around? But we're in different years. Oh, didn't you know? The excursion will be like the camp out. They're going to combine the first and second years. Since student enrollment is down and they're low on funds, they've cut the excursion back to once every two years. Well, at least we won't be bored with you around, Senpai. Gosh, I'm trying to remember the last time I went to Port Island and I wasn't working. <laughs> this will be great! I wish I could be that positive about it. Doesn't this seem like a pain in the ass to anyone else? Some people were against the proposition, but it's been decided. Oh, and guess whose idea it was? King morons! It's just the kind of thing he'd come up with. No, King Moron! Why must you torture us from beyond the grave? No, King Moron! You don't even know who that is. Hey, tell me more about this trip. Where is Port Island? What's there? Get back to work, will ya? Well, even though the class trip is coming up, it's still a ways away. What should I do until then? Well, it's not like we got much to do here in the first place. Man is just an animal trying to figure out how to kill time through his days. Huh. You made that sound like you were being philosophical, yet it made absolutely no sense. S sorry. 